In this build with me, we're going to make a quick meme database in Notion, because everybody needs a place to store all their awesome reaction images, right? Behold, my stuff. Now, obviously, you'll also be able to use it for other images. And this is a build with me, so there's no pre-built template I'm showing off. We are going to build this together. Awesome! The end result from what I built here will be in the description for your reference later. When we're designing a new Notion database, the first thing that you should imagine is your use case. Why do we even have that level? And in my case, it's like storing images that I find on the web and being able to retrieve them to answer them to people somewhere else. And that means that there's a couple of things that I need to store in there. First of all, it will be images, so it will probably be a gallery. There will be a not suitable for work tag because my reaction images, some of those are just for friends only and that's something I want to show at work or have people watch when I'm scrolling by. I want to be able to put the source URL in there because I want to know where I found this on the internet. It might be related. I might want to be able to find out what the original context was, stuff like that. And I want to have some tags on it because I might want to group things later. Now to find things, I'm just going to use the title because that's easier to search. Let's build this. Now we know it's going to be images. So a gallery seems to be the obvious choice. And to do so, I'm going to set up the initial gallery set and give it a name. Now, we're just going to call it memes because that's easy. Then I'm going to go to properties and I'm going to use page content. Now I know from experience that adding pictures, you can use fields for that and put pictures in there and upload them. But putting it in the content means that I can just right click, copy an image and paste it straight into Notion, which I like. It's nice for my workflow. So we'll put this one on page content and we're going to put the card size on small. Now the thing with memes is that they usually stick in your head so you don't need like a large image to find them. A uh, small image is usually good enough. Our brains are amazing. And I'm gonna do fit image and another reason for that is that memes come in large and small sizes and usually you have some text on the top and bottom and if Notion would cut those off it would be harder for you to find. Now most of the things that I wanted are already there. There's a created, there's a tags. I'm gonna add the URL property and call that source. So that's where I'm gonna put like the source URL on where I found it on the internet. And I'm gonna add that not suitable for work property that I wanted to have and make that a checkbox because that's easy to filter. Now, how to add things to this database? And that's pretty simple. I go to the internet and I find a suitable case to put on. And in this case, there's a nice Notion meme. I'm going to go right click on it, say copy image, go to new and just paste it. Maybe remove a few spaces, put it up there. I also want to have the source. So I go back to my browser and click the URL and put that in the source. This is definitely suitable for work. So I don't need to tag those. Might want to add a quick Notion tag. And I want to give it a title, which is stop trying to be smart Shrek this will make it easy to find uh, investing those two seconds when you add this is usually well worth the effort when you're trying to find it later I'm going to remove the template images because they don't really have like a use case to it and now I have my initial setup one of the things that I know is that I want to be able to view these images but without the not suitable for work elements in it um, but before I can do that, we need to add a couple of extra images. I'm going to do that magically like so. Okay, so I've added a couple of uh, memes to it and I've added this one with we're all gonna die and marked that one as not suitable for work so that we can see the filters into effect. Now to build a filter, I'm gonna do a little trick that I really like to use and that is I'm gonna add a view and I really don't care which one. The only reason I'm doing this is because when you go to table view, I can now go to gallery and say duplicate. And that makes an exact copy of what I had with all the settings that I've had. And then we reuse that. Now I'm gonna give these things a good name. I'm gonna call this copy of it. I'm gonna call it work. And this one, the gallery, I'm gonna call that all. And the table view only had a very short lived set. I'm just gonna delete that one. And then for work, we're going to set up a filter. So I'm gonna to go to filter. I'm gonna go add filter, pick the not suitable for work check mark and say it shouldn't be checked. And then we have like this nice clean view where the things that I think are not suitable are missing. When I'm opening this, I probably don't want the all to see that as the default because I'm in a situation when I wanna show things. So let's make work the default by dragging it up. And that way when I open it in default view, it will only show the 
suitable for work memes and I can just switch over to the other view to see everything. Now it's great, we've added stuff to it, but we still wanna be able to use it. Now, how do I use it? In the web browser, I can just go to a picture and I can go here and then if I right click, I can't copy the image because Notion. So what you do is you double click and then you see the original and there you can click on it and say copy image and then just paste it in whatever chat app or place where you need the reaction. Mobile is a bit different. So let me grab my phone and show you. Start a screen recorder so you can see what I'm doing. First of all, that you will notice is that if you're using your mobile phone, searching becomes a lot more important because the images take up a lot of space. And at some point, if you start adding things, it will be scrolling forever. And this is also one of the reasons why we picked these useful long names. So I can type in Yakuza and immediately get like the Yakuza meme that I was sharing earlier. Now, I don't know how this works for iPhone and I can't test because I don't have an iPhone, but as far as I could figure out using the internet, you can pick the download option and that will download it to your phone, add it to the film roll, and then you can use it in whatever chat app you're using straight from the film roll. It doesn't work on Android though, because in Android, if I share this, then I get the URL and it shares the URL in WhatsApp and other chat tools. And that's not what you want because that looks ugly and that means that people have to click on it. So what do you do on Android? And that is you go to the same one and you say view original, which is similar to the double click on the website. And then you get it in a browser and there you can hold your finger on it and then just use copy image or share image to get it straight into whatever chat app you're using. So this was more of a fun short format called build with me where we build something together and I show the whole thought process that went behind it. I picked something simple like the meme databases because for the initial video I wanted to get something that wasn't too complex and was easy to make. If there's something you would like me to build together with you, then let me know in the comments down below and I'll see if I can make a video about it. Now remember, you're awesome, keep it up.